Hey everyone, welcome back to Quant Prof. Today we're going to solve a Millennium interview question. Check the description for more Quant interview resources. Let's look at the problem. You toss a fair coin till you get five consecutive heads. Since the outcomes of the tosses are random, the number of tosses required to get five consecutive heads will vary. So, what is the expected number of tosses to get five consecutive heads? Pause the video here if you want to give it a try. We will use recursion to solve the problem. Let EN be the expected number of flips to get N consecutive heads. Suppose we are in a state where we already have N minus 1 consecutive heads. There are two cases. The first case is when the next flip results in heads, then we would have N consecutive heads. The second case is when the next flip results in tails. In that case, we would have no consecutive heads and would need to start over. So using the law of total expectation, we get the following equation. The first term corresponds to the first case where we had n minus 1 consecutive heads and with one more toss landing on heads we get n consecutive heads. The plus 1 in this term accounts for the current flip that resulted in heads. The second term corresponds to the second case where we had n minus 1 consecutive heads but the next toss resulted in tails, resetting our streak to 0 consecutive heads. As a result, we now need en more expected tosses to achieve n consecutive heads. Note that the plus 1 in this term accounts for the current flip that resulted in tails. Simplifying this, we get the following equation. Also note that E0 is 0 as no tosses are required to get 0 consecutive heads. Using this, we calculate E1 as 2, E2 as 6, and so on. So the expected number of tosses to get 5 consecutive heads is 62. Let's consider another problem. We have 10 letters and 10 envelopes, each numbered from 1 to 10. The letters will be randomly paired with the envelopes. For example, they can be paired like this, or like this, or like this, and so on. We want the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its corresponding envelope to be at most 1. For example, in the current pairing, the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its envelope is 0, making this a valid arrangement. Similarly, this is also a valid arrangement. These pairs have an absolute difference of 0, while these pairs have an absolute difference of 1. On the other hand, this is not a valid arrangement as the last pair has a difference of 2. Find the probability that the letters are assigned to envelopes such that the absolute difference between the value of each letter and its corresponding envelope is at most 1. Try to solve this on your own. Hope you liked the video. If you want to learn how to solve these kinds of interview problems, we invite you to check out our course Quant Interview Masterclass, where we teach you how to think when solving difficult problems. We also cover the entire theory specifically tailored for quant interviews along with over a thousand problems. Thanks for watching and see you next time. Until then, Godspeed.